हेलो एवरीवन कैसे हैं आप लोग मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल टैग गाइड प्रदीप में आपका स्वागत है इस वीडियो में मैं शेयर करने जा रहा हूं बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एच टी एम एल एंड सम वेरी सिंपल बेसिक टैग्स विच आर यूज टू मेक द वेब पेज तो चलिए देखते हैं इस वीडियो में क्या है today i am going to share some very simple tags with you as you know that every html code is written in a notepad so this is my notepad here and as i told you last time every html tag has to start with the uh, tag html every html document has to start with the tag html and then followed by head inside the head title is written here okay and then head is closed starting tag and the closing tag every tag has to be closed with a slash so this is known as a container tag container tags are those tags which are having starting as well as ending tags okay and then it is followed by body part in body part whatever we write it actually makes the web document so in this i have showing you h1 tag which i did last time also i am just repeating for your sake so h1 tag gives you anything written in h1 tag appears with this size bold size and the big size okay it is followed by H two, H three, and H six. Here you can see this is the H six, which is the smallest tag. Okay, so according to our requirement in the web page, we can choose what type of heading is required from H one to H six. Okay, so this is about heading tag. Now I am going to show you some other tags here. paragraph tag p for paragraph okay this is a sample paragraph and p is closed here fine and if you save the document as i told you every html document which you write in the notepad you have to save it with file name dot html so this file first dot html i am saving in my desktop so i am going to save it there and this file already exists so it is asking me you want to replace the previous one yes okay so this file is saved now i refresh my document this is where i refresh this is a google chrome browser i am going to refresh it here so you see this is a sample paragraph it has appeared here here is my document this is a sample paragraph i saved it and i refresh the page and you see this is here it appears this is a sample paragraph okay now same thing i write it again but before that i write a break tag so that whatever i write it appears in the next line so for that i write br tag okay it's a empty tag that means it does not have a closing tag so it is only a single tag break means to break the document and whatever i do it appears in the next line fine so i write again p for paragraph this is a next line i write sample then next line i write paragraph and then i close p also i have written this is the sample paragraph in three lines but you will find that it will not be appearing in my document like this okay and i save it here and then i 
refresh my page and you see what is the result again same one simple line is there this is a sample paragraph although it is written in three different lines but it is coming in the one single line okay if you want to do something like this then we have a tag pre pre formatted tag okay so whatever format you write your text the same way it will appear in your web page for example same thing now i am doing this is a sample paragraph okay and then i close my pre formatted tag now let us see what will happen i save my document i refresh it and see the result can you see the result the result is now it is coming in the same format as i did here pre formatted tag <coughs> so pre formatted tag will result your document it will make your document appear as you have written in your coding in your html code whatever your way you have written your text paragraph or anything the same way because it is used for pre formatted text okay so this is the pre formatted text fine okay now i apply a break here and then i will try another tag that is a font tag font suppose something you want to write in a bigger or smaller font you can use a font tag font i am using say plus 5 whatever is my current font it will make it bigger five times bigger than that so plus 5 font size is equal to plus 5 and i say color is equal to green okay and then i close my font tag here and then i write something this is bigger font and in green color now let us see the result of this thing. save it here and then refresh your web page see this is the result of my new coding this is bigger font and in green color can you see this it is because of this uh, html code which i have written font size is equal to plus 5 and color is equal to green close the font tag and then write something and it will appear in bigger font because of the plus 5 okay and the uh, color is the green fine after font tag let us see some other simple types apply break here and then try other simple tags b for bold this is in bold letters okay i am using b for bold save it here and then write okay so it has appeared in the bold letters this is appearing in bold letters but the same plus 5 size is there and it is same green color is there but it is appearing in bold letters you can see the difference in both okay first one it is a normal text and uh, this is in bold letters it is definitely written in bold letters because of the tag b b for bold okay next let me apply break here and then try another tag that is i i for italics this is in italics and close the i tag and let us see what is the result now okay and see 
this is in italics it is written here because of the i tag that is italics tag okay next tag which i am going to show is u u for underline this text is underlined and close the u tag here and see save it and refresh your web page and see the result this text is underlined okay it is because of this tag u and then i have got another tag i apply br here and then i use the tag that is em emphasized this text is emphasized and close the em tag here here it is and uh, see the result now emphasized tag this text is emphasized okay fine next tag is strong let us see the strong tag how does it work as i told you this uh, html language it is not case sensitive language you can write in upper case that is capital letters or you can also write in lower case that is small letters okay so now next tag is the strong tag i have written it in small letters so it does not affect the document this text is strong let us see the result now this text is strong you can see here because of this tag this text is strong this is how it is written. okay it is something like bold next tag is uh, another tag that is tally text tally text will give your text as though you have typed it with the typewriter okay fine let me save the document and then i refresh my page and see tally text text how does it work this is tally text okay fine and another text which i am going to show you is cite for citation this is citation see everything is done within body part only and last tag is html tag fine and let me apply break here fine this is citation i save it here and then i refresh my web page and you see how the citation works so these are some of the simple tags let me repeat them again first tag which i have used is the heading tag this varies from h1 to h6 h1 gives you the text in the very big format is there if you want to write something in big and bold letters you can use h1 tag then it goes from h1 to h6 h6 is the smallest one here it is h6 is the smallest one and then i have displayed you paragraph to start a new paragraph you can use p fine then pre formatted tag if you write something in your document and you want 
the entire document to appear as you have written it here. So pre-formatted tag is used. This is a simple paragraph. I have written it in three lines. So same way it is appearing the document, three lines. One, two, and three. Three lines are there. Then I have displayed you, if you want to write something with a separate font, bigger font or different color, then you can use font size. Fine. So this font size plus five color green and font is closed. So this is a font tag, a particular font if you want to use in your website, you can use with a font tag. This is a bigger font and in green color. So here it is. Then I have displayed you some simple tags like B for bold, bold letters, I for italics, and uh, then I have showed you underline tag, okay? Then emphasized, strong, tele text, and the citations, here they are. 